Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Though Southern New England won't bear the brunt of Hurricane Matthew, Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin says Rhode Islanders could be targets of hurricane relief scams. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell explains. These scams often show up during emergencies and disasters. The bad guys pull on your heartstrings and expect you to hand over money without doing your homework to make sure your donations are going to the right place. Hurricane Matthew tore through Haiti, killing at least 108 people there, destroying buildings and flooding streets. And the monster storm's path of destruction isn't over yet. For a lot of people, seeing these devastating images stirs compassion. People want to do something to help, but Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin is warning about potential relief effort scams, which often appear in the wake of disaster. Kilmartin says if you want to donate to a relief organization, consider the well-known legitimate organizations like the American Red Cross Haiti Assistance Programs, the Salvation Army, and UNICEF. And he says you should avoid crowdfunding sites unless they link directly to a legitimate organization. And don't click on links soliciting donations that are emailed or texted to you. The Better Business Bureau also has some advice about charitable giving. The organization says before you make any donations, it's important to ask these questions. How will my donation be used? When will my donation be used? And is the charity registered or tax exempt? An easy place to check on charities is Charity Navigator. The organization already has a page dedicated to Hurricane Matthew, and several organizations listed have four-star ratings. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer, you can call that same number on your screen. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.